Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the second grade concept of fractions, specifically how we can represent examples and non-examples. That means bad examples of fractions, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's look at our very first type of fraction we look at, and that's halves. That's what happens when we break a shape into two equal parts. So if I wanted to draw a picture of a circle, and I wanted to cut it into halves, I could do it like that. I could also uh, make a diagonal if I want to, and I could also make it uh, straightly horizontal. Even other shapes, as long as the two parts are equal, they are going to be halves. So that triangle has got two equal parts, and the triangle doesn't have to go up and down. It can go kind of like this. As long as your two parts are exactly equal, you've got halves. So I'm going to make this diagonal line right here. What doesn't work is if you break up a shape into two parts, but they're not equal. You see how the top part is a lot smaller than the bottom part, so that is not an equal. Also, we've also got, let's say if we start here, but then it kind of curves like this. If it's mostly equal, but then it curves at the end, then that's not going to work. So it needs to be a straight line, and both sides need to be exactly equal. If I wanted to do my triangle right here, uh, an example of not halves might be something like this. My line doesn't connect with one of my corners, so this part is a lot smaller than this part right here. And the same thing with my rectangle. This would not be a good example of halves. Even though it's a vertical line, one side is bigger than the other, so halves have to be equal. Let's look at another example. Now let's look at fourths. So typically when we see fourths, if we take a circle, you're going to see a vertical line and a horizontal line. So this is an example of fourths because you've got four pieces that are exactly the same. You can also have the two lines be diagonal. As long as they're both cutting their part of the circle in half, it looks like an X. That works. Now with square or rectangle, you've got some different options. So if I wanted to do a rectangle like this, I could do the same thing. I could do an X. I could also do four vertical lines if I really wanted to. I could do like this. Now I've got four vertical lines. Now here's an interesting example of fourths. Watch what I can do here. I can draw a vertical line. So I've got those two equal parts. And then I could do it like this. And these four parts aren't necessarily congruent, but this is also a good example of fourths. Because they each take one fourth of a space, they might not, each shape might not be exactly the same shape, but they are the same size if you rearrange some parts. Now, not fourths is when you take something and you break it up into four pieces, but they're not equal. So like if I were to try to do the vertical lines like I did with the rectangle, that's not going to work. Also, if I were to do something like this, try to do that, and then maybe just cut it like this, well, those pieces aren't equal. So always make sure the pieces are equal. So with eighths, you're going to have just a few main ways that you're going to probably see it. So you can take your circle, you can cut it into fourths, and then draw a line through each fourth, cutting each fourth in half, and now you have eight equal pieces. And if we are looking at it with a rectangle, we're going to see something kind of similar. We're going to do this right here. Now we've got four equal pieces. If I want, I can kind of do it like this, or I could have made those next lines diagonal. Just like with my fourths, you can kind of mix and match right here. So you notice I'm going to have four equal pieces here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each of these fourths into half there, but then I'm going to do these fourths into half right here. And this is a good example because each half was equal and I broke those into smaller pieces. Not eighths is when you don't have equal pieces. So if I were to try to do this, and if I were to draw some lines like this, that would not work because those are not equal pieces. So always make sure that your pieces are equal. Like if I were to try to do this and split it like this, that's not going to work because they're not equal pieces. And that's a good example of eighths and not eighths.